time for millennials to get serious about planning for the future. Certified financial planner James DiVirgilio from Chacon Diaz and DiVirgilio Wealth Management joins us with the biggest millennial money mistakes. Good morning. Morning. So are they making more or less mistakes as compared to past generations? Uh, they're actually making fewer mistakes. Well, there you go. They're saving more money, okay. but they're not owning homes, which I think is actually a good thing. Others don't think that's such a good thing. Okay, so yes, there, there's a big divide there. Why do you think that's a good thing? Well, we know as an investment, a home does not meet the definition. In fact, on average, you'll lose about 11% per year owning a home. Mm -hmm. Factor in your mortgage cost, your property taxes, etc. Renting is a great way, especially when starting off, to remain flexible, cost efficient, and it should allow you to save more money in investments that will make you more money. Okay, so they don't own houses, they're renting and that's good. What else is it that they're doing good? You said they're actually saving. They're saving a lot of money. Now how they're investing that money looks a lot like previous generations. Okay. We have a human behavior problem. We've seen this now with coronavirus. We're prone to panics, we're prone to leaving our money into cash for far too long, and we really don't know how we should be investing. Millennials are no different. They have not solved the age-old question of what do I do with my money when things go poorly mm -hmm. and how do I invest it? And so what would you suggest to them? I think the best thing for millennials and really anyone else is to find a fiduciary investment manager, someone okay. that will always act in their best interest. Investing by yourself is very, very difficult. Financial planning by yourself is very difficult. You need someone who has a true professional expertise and will legally do what's best for you. How are they doing when it comes to uh, thinking far down the road for retirement and putting money away for that and 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 uh, you know staying on top of that much like the rest of us you know one in two boomers have absolutely nothing saved for retirement millennials are doing just slightly better than that and again as humans we struggle to prepare for a far distant future yeah. we have to really discipline ourselves to set aside money you know saving 10 percent of your gross income is one of the best things you can do to provide for your future so how do you get that message across if you're saying that you know boomers and, and everywhere in between that we we haven't done it the right way and we know, you know, we're, we're smart enough to know what we should have been doing and pl maybe playing catch up. But how do you start to instill that into this young, fresh generation? I'm just out of college. I want to, you know, be me, <laughs> do what I want. I'm not thinking about retiring. I think it really needs to start at the college level or the high school level and impressing upon people you will have to provide for yourself in the future. But even then, those efforts will always fall short. Why? Yeah. Our own human behavior says, I'm going to take care of what's happening right now. When I get to the future, I'll deal with that future. Right. Unfortunately, that leaves us all in a bad place. There is not an easy solution to that problem. But the more we can get the message out, the more people can recognize this is important. I need to take care of this and hopefully have someone help them take care of it. That people like you, they get in touch with you and you can help crack the whip over the years to get them where they're going. That's right. All right. Thank you so much.